May 2022. I hereby give notice that the following candidates are declared elected. Morris Bradley, Democratic Unionist Party. Alan Robinson, Democratic Unionist Party. <laughs> Kiva Archibald Sinn Féin. <laughs> Claire Sugden, Independent. Carla Hunter, SDLP. Thank you, Patricia, uh, and to your staff today. Um, it has been certainly a grueling and very tiring past couple of days, um, and I'm sure, like the rest of us, we will be very keen to get home and get a rest. Um, First and foremost, I want to thank the thousands who have put their trust in both me and my colleague, Morris Bradley. It is indeed a very, very humbling experience. Fighting and winning this election is testament to the team that I had around me. Um, to my election agent, Mark Fielding, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Mark. To the team, to Gregory, Edgar, Oliver, Gary, Michelle, Tracy, Phyllis, Jonathan, Yvonne, and we George. The battle was hard fought, but it's been well won. I want, to spare, I want to pay a special mention to my father and former MLA George Robinson, who laid the foundations that I stand on here today. And while he retired from frontline politics on the 28th of March, he was a driving force over the last four weeks of the campaign at the ripe old age of 80. They don't make them like George Robinson anymore. When they made George Robinson, they threw away the mould. There has been a lot of commentary about fixing the NHS by unionism and other candidates. And that's right. That is right. But unionism also needs to fix itself. So today, I extend a hand of friendship to the broad swathe of unionism. We have more in common than what divides us. And let that be the message today from this hall and from every hall in this province. Can I conclude by thanking my mother, my wife, Tracy, my beautiful daughter, Sienna, who I look forward to spending some time with tomorrow, and finish off by saying how much we miss our dear friend and colleague David, who remains ill, but I know today You'll be smiling from ear to ear. We did it for you, David, and the boy did good. So I, I too want to thank Patricia Murphy and all the staff here in the Count Centre for their efforts over the past few days. It has been a long couple of days and I'm sure we'll be all glad to get home. Um, I want to thank the 11,368 people in East Derry who gave their first preferences to me and Kathleen McGurk on Thursday and to everyone who gave us a preference. It's been a privilege to represent East Derry for the past six years and it's an honour have, to have been given a mandate to continue to do so. I want to pay tribute to my running mate Kathleen who has run an energetic and positive campaign and unfortunately has hit the bar this time. Thank you for your comradeship and support. I want to thank my election agent Margaret Fleming and our East Derry team, all our activists and supporters who've been part of our campaign, who've given so many hours to help and support us. Everyone who participates in elections knows that they are a team effort and we wouldn't be here without our teams. And finally, I want to thank my family who have the best support that anyone can hope for. Sinn Féin went into this campaign on a positive message that it's time for real change. On Monday, we'll go back to work, ready to form an executive. We want to be able to work with others to tackle the cost of living crisis and on the issues that matter to people, health, housing and jobs. Over the past few weeks, we've all been out knocking doors. We know people want and expect us to get back to work for them. Voters have spoken. The democratic outcome of this election must be respected by all parties. So let us get on now with our jobs and get back to working to deliver that real change that the people have given us a mandate to do so. Gormila Mogov.
Good evening, everyone. Um, first, beginning to thank the returning officer and all staff throughout this council, including the PSNI. It has been a long two days, and your work does not go unnoticed. Thank you to everyone who came out uh, to vote yesterday. Your vote is so important, incredibly powerful, so well done for using it. And thank you to all of those who thought of me on their ballot paper. I do not take this role for granted and believe every vote is earned. So your vote for me means a great deal. And I will start earning your, vote, your next vote now. Thank you to my staff and the many volunteers who have helped with my campaign. In particular, my election agent, Colin McClarty, who represents his late father, David McClarty. David was my mentor, friend and boss and will always be recognised in my political career. As independent, I do not have a party machine, but I do have people. People who answer my phones, write my press, send many emails on behalf of constituents and keep me going on the hardest of days. Claire Stockton, MLA, is not just me. It is a strong team of people who I could not do this job without. To my family, my greatest cheerleaders, and I love them dearly, although two were missing this time. I have found this election particularly hard because they are not here. This one is for my dad. I have been an MLA for eight years, and because of you, I will continue to serve. You have helped me make history as Northern Ireland's first independent to be elected three times, and I love that it was a woman doing just that. I am so sorry to see so many great women losing their seats today. Your contribution has been incredible, and Northern Ireland is much better for it. To all candidates, win or lose, it is hard to put yourself forward, but we got there. And to everyone elected today, let's do this. The public have given us an opportunity for a new start, a mandate to serve, and a drive to keep Northern Ireland moving forward. That's what people want, and I hope all my colleagues have listened. Thank you. See you Monday. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, Patricia and her team uh, for the incredible work that's been done here today. And I know it's been a very long uh, 48 hours, so uh, thank them for that. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, my entire SDLP team, specifically Penny Sterry, who have been the backbone of this campaign. Um, volunteers are crucial when it comes to political messaging, and they have been such a support um, to myself. And I'd really like to uh, thank my staff as well for all their hard work over the past two years. It's been both an honour and a privilege to represent East Derry and I'm exceptionally proud to be part of uh, the SDLP. I'd also like to thank my mum, my dad and my partner Peter for their long-standing support throughout these past two years and throughout uh, this campaign. My message today is that the SDLP is here to deliver for everybody, regardless of your background or belief. That is what I believe true politics should be about. Today's result for myself is incredibly humbling and I'm so grateful for every single vote for uh, the SDLP within East Derry. I will do everything within my power to deliver for the people of East Derry and the issues that matter to them. I'd like to congratulate my colleagues here beside me and uh, commiserations to the candidates who haven't been elected here today. It takes a lot of bravery to put your name forward uh, and I think it's fantastic to see so many women on the ballot paper. Uh, and I think we all play a role in making sure politics is a safe and inclusive space uh, for women. So I look forward to work on Monday. And again, I'd like to thank each and every individual who helped put me where I am today. Thank you.